In the hidden corridors of global power, where influence merges with secrecy, there exists a family whose very name stirs whispers of danger and mystery. Welcome to an in-depth exploration of one of the world's most enigmatic and powerful dynasties, often described as one of the most dangerous families on the planet. And this documentary-style journey dives deep into their vast reach across politics, finance, and international relations, revealing how their influence has swayed global events and left lasting marks on history. Through expert interviews, historical context, and thorough analysis, we'll pull back the curtain on the forces shaping their legacy and explore why they are regarded as a threat to public safety. Join Crime Chronicles as we move beyond the headlines, uncovering the stories and secrets that lay hidden in the aftermath of pivotal events. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. This is just the beginning of a story you won't want to miss. Number one on our list is Fred and Rose Family. Fred and Rose West's story is one of the darkest chapters in British criminal history. Marked by a series of disturbing crimes in Gloucester, England during the 1970s and 1980s. Known as the House of Horrors, their home at 25 Cromwell Street became infamous for what lay beneath its surface. Fred West, born in 1941, first met Rosemary Letts, born in 1953 when she was still a teenager. The two married in 1972, forging a partnership that would ultimately lead to a chilling string of crimes targeting young individuals, including members of their own family. Their marriage and shared sadism set the stage for a series of heinous acts carried out within their home, shocking the nation when details eventually emerged. In 1994, authorities launched an investigation into the West, culminating in the discovery of multiple victims' remains buried on their property. Among the victims was their own daughter, Heather West, whose death became a tragic symbol of the horrific nature of their crimes. The investigation revealed a pattern of cruelty and manipulation, exposing how the couple lured and entrapped vulnerable young people over the years. In 1995, facing an impending trial, Fred West took his own life while in custody, leaving Rose West to stand trial alone. She was later convicted of multiple murders and sentenced to life in prison, a sentence that underscored the horror of her actions and provided a small measure of justice for the victims and their families. The case left a lasting impact on the Gloucester community and beyond, sparking difficult conversations around the factors that drive individuals to such extremes of violence. The story of Fred and Rose West remains a sobering reminder of the importance of vigilance, community, and awareness in preventing tragedies like this from taking root again. Number two on list is the Cray Twins. Ronnie and Reggie Cray, born in East London, cemented their legacy as two of Britain's most notorious criminals. Known for their brutal reign over London's East End, their crimes ranged from armed robbery and arson to ruthless violence, leading the firm, a feared gang that controlled much of the city's organized crime. The Crays were infamous for their merciless tactics. Despite their criminal empire, the twins managed to attain a bizarre kind of celebrity status. At their nightclub, Esmeralda's Barn, they mingled with prominent figures from entertainment, politics, and sports, crafting a public image that masked the brutality of their operations. Their charisma and charm often disguised the violence beneath the surface, and they were even photographed with famous personalities, lending them a mystique that intrigued the public. Their power was largely unchecked, aided by a network of informants and a terrifying reputation that silenced many witnesses, but their empire began to unravel as their violent acts escalated. The murders of rival gang member George Cornell and their own associate Jack the Hat McVitie were especially notorious, drawing heightened attention from law enforcement. These killings pushed Detective Leonard Nipper Red of Scotland Yard, who had long pursued the craze, to intensify his efforts to bring them down. In 1968, after building a case largely on testimonies from former gang members willing to betray the craze, Detective Reed succeeded. The twins were arrested and in 1969 were convicted of multiple crimes, receiving life sentences that ended their dominance over London's criminal underworld. Ronnie Cray died in 1995 and Reggie followed in 2000, but the fascination with their story endures. A blend of awe and horror at the lives of the infamous Cray twins. Their rise and fall remain etched into British crime lore, capturing the chilling reality of power and brutality concealed beneath a polished surface. Number three on list is Inessa, Tarverdieva, and family. The Tarverdieva family, sometimes called Russia's 
gangster family ran a violent criminal enterprise from 2007 to 2013 that left a dark mark on the regions of Stavropol and Rostov. Led by Anessa Tarvadieva, her husband Roman Podkopayev, and her two daughters, Victoria and Anastasia, this family managed to live a double life, appearing as ordinary citizens, while conducting a series of chilling crimes that included burglary, armed robbery, and multiple murders. Inessa, a former nursery school teacher, shocked investigators with her role as the mastermind behind the operation, coordinating with calculated precision. The family's violent spree claimed the lives of at least 30 victims, a group that included police officers and shop owners spreading fear and tension across the regions they targeted. Known for their ruthless methods and meticulous planning, the Tarvadievas were able to evade authorities for years, leveraging their familiarity with local routines and careful targeting to stay one step ahead. When law enforcement finally closed in on them in 2013, a violent shootout ensued, marking the end of their six-year crime wave. Inside their home, police discovered a significant stockpile of weapons and equipment used in their operations, highlighting the extent to which they had prepared to protect their secret life. The trial that followed exposed the full scale of the family's brutal activities, revealing the depth of their deception and the chillingly organized nature of their crimes. The Tarvadieva family remains one of Russia's most infamous examples of familial crime, a case that illustrates both the unsettling potential for ordinary seeming lives to mask extreme violence and the immense difficulty law enforcement faces when confronting such criminal networks. Number four on list is the Bloody Benders family. The Bender family, now infamously known as the Bloody Benders, lived in an isolated cabin in Labette County, Kansas, along the well-traveled Osage Trail. At first glance, their cabin seemed like a typical rest stop for weary travelers. However, behind the facade of hospitality, the Benders had devised a deadly trap for their unsuspecting guests. The family consisted of John Bender, his wife, and their two children, who worked together with chilling precision. They would invite travelers inside, offering them a hot meal and a place to rest. Guests were seated at a specially arranged table, their backs turned to a curtain. While they dined, one of the benders would slip behind the curtain and strike the victim from behind with a sledgehammer. The bodies were then robbed and disposed of on the property, where shallow graves would later be found. The exact number of people who fell prey to the benders remains unknown, though it's estimated to be around a dozen. Their motivations are a mystery, whether driven by greed, a twisted thirst for violence, or something else altogether remains unclear. As more travelers disappeared along the trail, local townspeople grew suspicious. An investigation was launched, and when authorities finally arrived at the Bender cabin, they discovered it abandoned. The family had vanished, leaving behind a gruesome scene in a cabin that would forever be associated with terror. In the years that followed, other families moved into the property, and chilling reports of similar violent incidents began to, to circulate fueling eerie legends that the, the place was cursed. The story of the, you know, the bloody benders endures, casting a long sinister shadow over Kansas folklore and reminding the world of the horrors concealed behind closed doors. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future deep dives. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.